While everyone is getting caught up in Instagram algorithms and the lack of organic reach on Facebook, Pinterest is building multi-million dollar businesses. And one of the number one ways you can drive traffic to your blog is with beautiful Pinterest graphics. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Not only how to create them in Canva, but the strategy behind making them in the first place. So if you would like access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even some stock photos for free. Just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So one of my favorite bloggers is Lauren Hooker, founder of L and Company Design. And while she is about to transition out of her business, one of the things that she brought to my attention back in May of this year was the fact that Pinterest was one of her top website referrals. She said with nearly 1 million monthly visitors, 30,000 followers and 100,000 website visits from Pinterest each year, you'd be surprised to know that she doesn't put any effort into the platform. And so for her, when you scroll down and talk about her non-existent Pinterest strategy, the number one thing that she says is she provides value. She has catchy titles and she writes long form content. Other ways that you can optimize your blog are pens. And so when you create a pen, all you're doing is you're taking an image and you're adding it to your Pinterest boards for you to refer to later. And so those graphics look a little something like this. Bloggers who are making money with their blog understand the value of creating these images because number one, it draws attention to the topic of your blog and it gets your brand out there. You can even make it easier for people to pen it by incorporating a Pinterest plugin into your site. This is automatically built into Squarespace and on WordPress websites, it's something you can easily add. So the best way to break it down would be Pinterest is an SEO driven social media platform. With Facebook, you kind of need to know a brand exists or that brand needs to be paying for ads to get in front of you. With Instagram, you need to be following that account. An account is paying for ads or they've used hashtags to help bring themselves to your attention even when you're not looking for them. But Pinterest is nothing but a search bar with tons of images. So for instance, if we go to Pinterest, and one of the things that I look up all the time is I will say Squarespace font combinations because sometimes, or font pairing, sometimes I'm like drawing a blank as to what fonts I should use for my clients. Now here's the thing, look at the brands that are tagged on these graphics. If I search for modern font combos for Squarespace, I guarantee you that the brand attached to this could also build my Squarespace website. And so look at all these options that are driving traffic for free to people's websites. Some are literally promoted by Squarespace, but others are independent blogs. I don't know who these people are, but clearly they are writing about what I am looking for. In fact, this one right here draws my attention because it says sophisticated font pairings for Squarespace and Canvas. Fonts that work across both platforms for easy brand creation. Now this is a fantastic idea for a blog post because this is a common problem people have. They go into Canva, they find an amazing font that they wanna use for their brand, and then they go to build their Squarespace website and Squarespace does not have that font. So this post is a fantastic resource. So if I click on this, it's going to drive traffic to that specific website. And I guarantee you, let's look up at the top, work with me. What does she do? She does web design, branding, 
brand coaching, Pinterest marketing. So the reality is by you looking at that blog post, now you're on her company website and maybe you were looking for font pairings for your own benefit, but now you're going to her website completely unsolicited. And so I have a positive regard for her brand simply because she added value. And so that's what we've got to do as entrepreneurs. We've got to create blog content, not for the sake of simply having a ton of our words on the internet, but by expressing the fact that we are thought leaders and we are experts in our field, we're going to drive traffic to our website and people will begin to click around. So this is awesome. This is a great implementation of a Pinterest graphic for this example. But let's go back. Let's go back to Canva and let's see what Canva can provide us to help us do this for our brand. So we're going to type in Pinterest graphic here and you're going to see a wide variety of templates. But the ones that you really want to stick with are the ones that have areas to put your website. Again, this is a free ad that you get to put on the internet. You don't have to put any money behind it. Simply put your blog post out there, create a Pinterest graphic, and then pin it. Simply pin it to drive traffic to your site. So for example, we're going to click on this one. And this says, um, 16 reasons to hike on your birthday. So number one, you want to be writing blog posts that draw people back to your signature offerings. It doesn't make sense if you're trying to make money off your blog to simply write about your life. Your life may be interesting, but if you can at least write about your life and drive traffic to some affiliate links, it can generate sales for you. Unless you are putting ads on your website itself and your site purely exists to drive traffic and to have a bunch of viewers, you want to create content that makes sense with what you're selling. So for example, if you sell soap, maybe you should do a blog post about five reasons why your soap is breaking out your skin. And you could talk about the fact that most soaps on the market contain all these chemicals and these chemicals cause all of these different reactions and then you can link to your product. And so people who have issues with their skin may see that post on Pinterest, go to read that blog post and end up buying your soap. So that is how it works. Think of Pinterest more as the beginning of a sales funnel and not so much about wasting time. So when you go into Canva, you're going to see different categories, food, wedding, birthday. And then if you keep searching, you're going to see more results. Now, the brands that I feel like do it really well don't emphasize their website and their logo too much. They tend to emphasize what benefit they provide the person. So say for instance, 10 ways to decorate with plants. So 10 ways to decorate with plants would be a great fit for somebody who loves plants, loves, you know, organic things in their home. And so the only way that you know that this is related to a company who maybe sells those plants is the website here. You don't see a giant logo on the Pinterest graphic. So the more that you can emphasize the benefit of the post and not the brand, the better your Pinterest graphic will perform. Because once they go to your website to read it, you can sell them whatever you want. So use graphics to entice people to read your blog posts. This is another one that works well. Light and dark under eyes in five easy ways. So this is a great post. It emphasizes the problem and then it entices you to go to find out how it can help you. So those I would imagine would perform better on Pinterest than some of the other graphics that just look like a newsletter. So these types of posts here, 20 ways to wash your face, 17 cozy Christmas, uh, cozy Christmas party ideas. Um, these are the types of posts that you need to be creating. And so you can start with what Canva provides you. Start with the actual design and then customize it to fit your brand. Customize it by changing the colors to fit your brand colors 
or changing the fonts to fit your brand fonts. So if we go to home and we click on brand kit, you can see where I have logos loaded in for a bunch of different brands. I've got brand colors for multiple companies and I've got brand fonts. So if you buy Canva Pro, you're able to store all of this information so it's easier for you to modify some of the templates that they provide. So I would strongly recommend doing that so you really aren't spending that much time customizing these graphics. So let's scroll down here and let's just go ahead and um, modify see here I think I like this one become employee of the month 15 ways to better yourself at work so this could be an awesome topic for one of my clients extra solution staffing but their colors are not orange their colors are more of a bright red and a bright blue so I'm actually going to go ahead and borrow the life focus blue from my husband's company I'm going to change this to be more of a red rather than an orange. Yep, that works. We're going to make this bold. I'm going to utilize one of my own photos because the vice president of ESS actually modeled for this shoot. So I'm going to go ahead and use this picture that has Walter in it. And I'll drag it here and position it backwards. And so now all I need to do here is type extra solution staffing.com. So the reason why that Pinterest graphic is going to be helpful for ESS is because it expresses a topic that makes sense for their brand. Their brand specializes in helping people find jobs and helping employers find employees. So by writing job related posts and creating amazing graphics within Canva and pinning them to Pinterest, they're going to drive organic traffic to their website from people who may not have ever even heard that they exist. And that is the power of Pinterest. It's not like Facebook, it's not like Instagram, it's basically the creative's Google ad. When people are searching for the services you provide, they stumble across your pins and hopefully end up on your website. The other thing that's great about those Pinterest graphics is it makes it easier for people to share your content by them repinning your pins. So this is how you can utilize Canva to not only create things that look beautiful, but help to grow your biz without breaking the bank. You can even use Canva for free, put your graphics on Pinterest for free and drive organic traffic for free. So this is the kind of content that I love to create because it takes you behind the scenes and shows you how people can utilize what's available on the internet to grow sales. And as you begin to grow your income as a business owner, then you can tap into some paid opportunities to take yourself to the next level. Bootstrappers aren't bootstrappers forever if they have impactful strategy. And that is why you should follow my account because that's the kind of content that I put out there. So this video was part of the Canva Create-a-thon, which is my opportunity to challenge myself to create 25 Canva tutorials in 25 days. And within all of the tutorials, I have hidden 25 secret words. If you are the first YouTube subscriber to find all 25 and you let me know first, you will win an About 90 Marketing Squarespace website valued at $2,000. This is my way to give back to my community for watching my videos, sharing them with their friends and engaging with me in the comments. So go ahead and grab a pen and paper so that you can write down the secret word for this video. The secret word is pen. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this Pinterest tutorial to show you how to drive traffic to your blog using gorgeous Pinterest blog graphics. If you have a suggestion for a Canva video that you would like for me to do, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.